what role was it or what was it that made everyone kind of open their eyes and go, our little Katie, she's got something here. I, I don't know. She's really doing it. Honestly? Was it a guest star on something? Was no, it Midnight Mass. Like, that's how what? long it's taken. <laughs> Midnight Mass was like the 30th thing you've done. I know. But, like, even after Hill House, they were like, oh, that's fun. She does these little horror things. And it wasn't until Midnight Mass that I started hearing from my mom's friends and my mom where they're like, you are actually a remarkable actress. What about like, Hush? No. Nothing from Hush? They thought it was good, but like it wasn't like Katie has a thing going. It was like, how cute. Katie's still being Katie. She'll be back soon. Wow. Because yeah. when I watched that, I was like, oh, who's this? Who's this? She's playing a, uh, a a deaf writer. Or do you say hearing impaired? What am I supposed to say? Deaf. I could say deaf? Deaf community. Deaf is a, a good thing to be. Okay, good. Good. I like mm-hmm. that. But um, all right. So you do all these things. You're in LA. You got a casting director who's kind of like, what was her name again? Lindsay Chad. She kind of hooked you up with reps and you started to get, re- you got representation from there. Yes. And that was a big thing for you. And then you started going out on auditions and having auditions for the first time. Yes. Yes. And what was the first big thing you can remember getting that was like, I'm going to make some money. I'm going to pay my bills. Oh, I booked, um, I booked an indie film called Steam. Called Stevie? Steam, like steam, steam roller, steam rooms, steam. right? And that was with like Ali Sheedy and Ruby G. How was it working with Ali Sheedy? Amazing, she Were, was amazing. You weren't starstruck at all? Um, a little bit, but she is a, such a human. Like you know, it takes about what's like when you meet celebrities. How long do you think it, it takes? Like maybe an hour or so before they start just being a person. How long for you? It just depends. I mean, there's been some that I just like, you know, I've worked with Stallone and I'm like hanging with him on set and I'm laughing with him and he's, he knows me by name and we're talking and we're like, you know, we're sitting down at lunch and we're like, you know, it's weeks I've worked with him. And I'm still like everyone. So I'm like, that's Sylvester Stallone. That's, that's yeah, I'm having Sylvester. that with Mark Hamill right now. Like Mark Hamill will never not be. Holy crap. It's Mark Hamill. What you're working with him now. He's an usher. He is? And that's not a secret. No, 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 no. He's been announced. Wow. Did you get your Star Wars uh, poster sign or did Mike ask him for an autograph yet? Not yet. We'll get there. But like, it's still like, wow. And he's wonderful, talented, humble, kind, generous, everything you want your heroes to be. And a big part. She has a big part. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mark Hamill. Yeah. 